What's going on, everybody? A little bit of a different type of video today. This is where I need some people's input, opinions out there. Um, this has been a subject going on for about the last six months. So the statement is, if breaking is considered gambling, and we're going to go with it that we're going to consider breaking gambling, even though we don't, we're not required to have gambling licenses as breakers, is there a minimum age limit in order to both get into a break and to host a break? So with that in mind, here's some of the key pieces to it. I just want to see what everybody's opinion is out there on to a little bit. Like I said, a little bit different type of video for today. If you look across the board, a lot of things across the United States, minimum uh, gambling age for like the lottery is 18. There, I know there's some states with 21 and over. Um, casinos mostly are 21 and over unless you're out in a boat or something. I think that's like 18 and over. Um, I know there's a lot of bingo places. You got to be 16 or older to go play bingo for gambling. I got it if it's like a church festival and stuff like that. But like for most part across the board, it's like 16 and up. But I know there's a couple of states that dropped it to 16. But for the most part, the casinos are 21 and over, except for, I believe, the state of Washington. If you're from Washington, let me know offhand. I believe that's 18. I believe Montana, Montana, Minnesota, and Idaho are all 18 for casinos, if I recall right. A lot of other ones are 18, but you have to be on a cruise ship or something. So offhand, you know... And this is where it's come into play where there's a lot of talk on to it. Now I'm going to give you guys some examples. A lot of these breaks that are being conducted are being conducted by people that are not, you know, of a legal gambling age. So by that happening, if breaks become, or breaking is considered gambling, they shouldn't have, be able to host them or collect the money. Now I got it that if I'm, if it was me doing a break and my kid is here, and he wanted to do a break and everybody was cool with it, I'd be like, all right, cool, you know, whatever. Because I'm the one collecting the money. He's really not conducting the break per se. The money still be collected by me who's over the age of gambling limits and stuff. But if I had a son who was, say, 16 years old, he started breaking from his computer, cell phone, whatever may be out there, that would be considered illegal. It's nothing against anybody that's doing it. It's just stuff that's been been talked about, and it's growing more in talk because of certain states are starting to look at this breaking, and they're starting to talk about freaking, uh, I think it's called a gaming license or something like that. That would really change the whole dynamics of breaking if it ever comes true. I don't know if it ever will or anything like that, but I'm curious what everybody else thinks offhand with it. You know, if, would you get into a break with somebody that's 13, 14, 15, 16 even years old? Or, you know, with it? Because a lot of times if you're going on eBay breaks, you have no idea how old the person is unless you go back and watch the videos and everything else out there like that. Not saying we don't have um, people that are under that age that aren't very responsible that could do a good job on to it. But I've noticed a lot of the issues that people are hitting me up about recently are coming from people who I could tell either by a little bit on their voice part, but they'll show like their face or you could find their face because it's linked to a Facebook. And they're, they're definitely underage because they're showing pictures of like junior and senior high school, stuff like that there in their current pictures. So... And a lot of it deals with either, you know, bad cameras, bad way of doing breaks, the random.org piece that we talk about how they randomize and stuff like that. I don't know if the federal government will ever step in and say breaking is now considered gambling or gaming and you have to do this and this and go by because, wow, that would be crazy because you would never know who's on that other side of the computer. You would never would. Um, there was a while ago... And this is a true story. I want to say it was in 2018, maybe even 19. Kid took his dad's American Express card, went out to all these guys and bought all these cards from them. So about a month goes by whenever, you know, American Express cycles. 
And the father's like, whoa, I didn't do all this on. And he started hitting, calling the company up to freeze the account and do chargebacks. And we're talking at that time frame, there were some big cards, $500 to $2,000 cards plus that were bought. All these guys end up doing enough investigative work, finding out everything. Talked to the father. The father reversed it, and then he made his kids sell them. And I think he still took a loss. But, you know, it just shows you never know who that other person is on the other side of the computer that's doing the deals with you unless you know them. Um, but the, I'm more interested, though, if we had the statement that breaking is considered gambling, you know, what would that mean? Would we lose a whole lot of retail breaks? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we would offhand, you know. And I got a lot of people probably under the age, probably have their parents, PayPal or Venmo, Cash App. I don't know how old you got to be to get that stuff because I really didn't look into it. I was looking more to gambling ages across the board, like with lottery, casino, bingo halls, stuff like that there. Or even like, you know, if you go to the horse races and stuff, it's 18 and over. I think almost all states are 18 over for dogs and horses. There might be a few that are 21. I think Arizona's one that's really strict on that, but their bingo's like 18 or something. But I want to see what everybody else thought of it out there. Do you really care about the person's age that's doing it? And, you know, if it ever does come out that, you know, they're saying, yes, this is pure gambling and everything else like that. You know, how does that really change everything out there? I mean, that, that's a really big change because you got a lot of kids, or I shouldn't say kids, but a lot of people under, we'll just use 21 being the highest like level of age you need to gamble out there. I know there's 18 and stuff, but, you know, a lot of these uh, guys and girls that are under age of 21 are at car shows with, you know, wads of cash. I never seen, I had a kid come up to me. He was like 15, maybe 16 years old, 17 at the most. And he was paying with hundreds and stuff. And I mean, I sat there and looked, he probably had four or five grand with him out on there. And I'm like, holy cow. I never seen stuff like that with, you know, at card shows probably two, three years ago. Now all of a sudden I was seeing, it, I'm like, wow, this has really changed when I started doing shows again after COVID, you know, settled down in my state. But you know, I don't know if it would hurt the hobby at all. Do you guys think it would hurt it? Do you think it would help it? You know, I'm just looking more for opinions on to it. it like I said, it's been something that's been being discussed for a while amongst, uh, you know, a lot of different people and stuff like that there. And, you know, no matter which way I look at it, I'm like, wow, this is just crazy because, you know, I never really thought about, you know, my breaker could be 14 years old. Of course, I've seen breakers, their kids come in, they'll break a product like Dynasty, it's already encased or clearly authentic. But, you know, to me, that's fine because the money's really not going to them, per se, for the uh, break slash gamble, you know. It's going to the guys that normally do it versus, you know, somebody who's the age of like 14 doing a retail select basketball break, one box. So... Just curious what the input is. It's not to put, like I said, this is not to put anybody down that's doing it or anything like that that's, you know, younger of the gambling ages because I think there's enough of them out there that would do a very good break, very respectful break, you know, still be on point with everything. But it's just been weird because a lot of the videos that I've been getting links to and check this out, I just started noticing, I'd probably say about 70% or so have been that younger generation and probably wouldn't be able to gamble at all. And it would, you know, wipe that completely all out because can you see you hosting an illegal break then because it, you have to have a, you know, be of age to gamble. And do you guys really think breaking is considered gambling? That's another question. I'm just curious all on. All right, everybody. I'll let everybody ponder that. I'll be looking through the comments, responding back and stuff. Take a look what other people think. Just uh, just because somebody has a different opinion out there, if you please don't go start bashing them and stuff like that. You know, it's just something different to talk about. And then we're going to hit this in overtime on the 24th because uh, I just want to see more people's, you know, reactions, see what I've seen as a consensus out there or majority rules onto it. And just to, you know, openly talk about it because, like I said, there were talks, I believe, the state of Florida, and there was another one that was talking about it. And 
where it came from, I have no idea. You know how rumors all start out there. But just in case, maybe in a year, two years, it becomes fact. All right, everybody, take care. Have a good rest of the week, and I'll see you all next video.